Welcome to the Heal Your Hunger Show, where we get to the heart of why you overeat and how to stop. If you struggle with food and weight like I did, welcome home. Welcome everybody to the Heal Your Hunger Show. So happy to have you here. It's a great day to be alive and I have the most awesome guest here today, literally live with me. We are recording live in my uh, home studio here and um, it's super exciting. So before we get to you, Kelly, hi, Kim. Hi, it's happy to be here. <laughs> great to have you. Oh, I'm so glad fun. you're here. So um, she's my guest, my, my host guest this week. Multiple times. Multiple times. We have so much fun together. We're she like, can't kick me out. <laughs> it's awesome. So um, yeah, so I just want to say if we are recording this live in the uh, Secret Sauce group. So if you haven't joined that group on Facebook, make sure you jump in there because that's where we do our live. I do live recordings there all the time and you can be the first to get access to this you can also also ask questions you know uh, comment on the show just join us there and it's really a lot of fun also if you're not sure if you're an emotional eater and you've happened upon this show that's what we talk about but not straight up only emotional eating we talk about things that are pertinent to emotional eaters because we are our own kind okay we got to stick together be a tribe and uh, you can learn if you're an emotional eater by going to healyourhunger.com and checking out the is the emotional eating quiz and get it get your personalized score find out you know where you are on the spectrum I think we're all emotional eaters probably what do you think I think that there's a component or a piece of all of us that reaches for something I know that because it's hormonal it's chemical there are things you can do about it as you know so well but everyone has that little thread yeah so find out where you are like I was on the high end of the spectrum big binger like massive binger I could eat 3,000 calories in a sitting of carbs and sugar and potato chips and brownies and oh god I'm not gonna make you hungry by talking about it but you know what I mean like I was just crazy with it so um you, you know you're somewhere on the spectrum so find out where and what you can do about it so healyourhunger.com and now on to my amazing friend and guest and she She's the author of um, the upcoming book, Cleanse and Reset, Detoxify, Nourish, and Restore Your Body for Sustained Weight Loss in Just Five Days. So I'm so ha happy to have her here. If you don't know Dr. Kellyanne, um, I'm just going to say she's a naturopathic physician and weight loss specialist. She has more than 20 years of amazing success helping patients lose weight and look younger. And she knows firsthand, you know, the pain of not being able to uh, do that. And then the joy of having a real solution. And she's helped millions of people with her very successful, successful bone broth diet. And now this new book. So welcome Kellyanne. Thank you. So happy yeah, to be here. Yeah, come a little close to the yep. mic. Cool. So, um, all right. So even though we've like, I mean, we're really funny. We haven't known each other that long and like, like we, we know a lot of very personal things we about do. each other. It's very we do. fun. It's called housemates. It <laughs> yeah. happens. Yeah. And it's great. And we have just a lot of like commonalities in our lives. Yes. So, um, but in terms of your business, mm -hmm. I want to ask you questions because we don't talk much about that. No, like we don't. we're, we're getting right down and dirty. Yeah. To, like, we talk about everything but business. It <laughs> yeah, seems. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, talk to me about what, what your struggles were that got you into this line of work. Yeah. So actually it wasn't so much a struggle. Now there were struggles I've had along the way, but what got me into this line of work was I was on the clinic floor for over 20 years. And my job, I always looked at it as someone who was in the solutions business. So I saw the pain that women would feel when they come in. You know, I never started my business and my practice dealing with women who were struggling with their weight, struggling with rapid fire aging, struggling with the pain, both physical and emotionally that was attached to this. I started my practice as a family practice, but the women that were drawn to me, and I believe you have to listen to these things, were these women who were in pain. Mm -hmm. So how I got into this business was my pure desire and passion to find solutions to these pain points. Amen, sister. Yes. And you are passionate about everything you do. So I know you have helped so many people. So, um, so how did you get into the whole bone broth thing? Where, mm -hmm. where did that come from? So I studied uh, in Switzerland from a Swiss clinic, Paracelsus Clinic, under the esteemed Dr. Rao. And so a lot of Swiss medicine goes back to the basics. It's about treating the whole body and really understanding how the body is an orchestra and how it works. I combine that work with studying what we call ancestral nutrition or medicine. Ancestral is basically this. 
It's what works best with our genes because there are things, and it's not just me saying this, it's the New England Journal of Medicine that that changed everything for me. I found this report in the very prestigious journal, the New England Journal of Medicine that said, you know, there are foods that work better for our bodies. I started investigating that and bone broth is very ancestral. So as I started working with bone broth, first on myself, I couldn't believe the results. And I'm the type of person who likes to do a lot of things in one pop. And here I was using this bone broth and all of a sudden crazy things started happening. As I started aging, I would go to colleagues and say, how is this happening? You know, I'm on the clinic floor. Like, why am I, why is my hair getting thinner? My waist getting thicker? Why is my skin losing its luster? Why am I tired? What's happening? They said, well, you know, anyone over 40 is going to have this. Anyone with children is going to have this. Right. And that didn't make sense to me. Right. And I'll tell you why. If you understand how genes work, you know, if it happens to one person, it has to happen to everyone for it to make sense. And the fact is it doesn't. There's some people who progress on very well into the 40s, 50s, 60s. So it didn't make sense. So as I started to dive into the science, this research, started putting everything into practice and into play, I found absolutely there were things that made you feel like you were just on and bone broth was one of those things. I wow. found that people, their skin was better, their hair was better, their nails were better. They started losing weight as, I, as you put it in a system, started losing weight. All these amazing things happen. So you know what? There's a lot of things I could be talking about with my unusual background, but I'm going to talk about bone broth because everyone needs to know about this. As soon as my book, The Bone Broth Diet and the PBS special came out, Google search, you can see the, the search terms and the analytics boom, straight through the roof. And now there, I, I defy you to find one market that does not have some form of bone broth sold. So true. So yeah, it just exploded a couple of years ago, yeah. complete, like everywhere, all over the shelves. Because you know? it works. Yeah. If, 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 look, if something didn't transform, it would not take fire like bone broth did and hold on to that fire and hold on to it. There's still more bone broth products coming out. Bone broth, that, that, that space is still growing. People are still gaining benefits. And that's only because of the transformation. Okay, so bone broth sounds really hard to make. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I know people who make it. It seems kind of like I barely cook. You mm -hmm. know, I go down in Erewhon every day and yeah. eat my lunch. So um, you have bone broth products. I do. So look, if you want to make bone broth, you say, you know what, Dr. Kellyanne, I just got, I want to make, this is, I'm home all day with kids or whatever your story is, or I just like to cook, go get a chicken carcass, take the meat off the carcass, throw the carcass in a slow cooker, pour some water, or you can do it in a stove pot, pour water about one inch over that carcass, throw in some celery, onions, carrots. And when I say throw it in, I mean, you don't even have to get fancy, chop, 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 bam, throw it in there, set the slow cooker or just a nice simmer over the stove. And that's all you have to do. And how you know if it's really the good stuff, put it in the refrigerator and see if it gets that jiggly stuff over top. That's gelatin. And that, my friends, is the gold. Okay. That is the gold. If you think about when you get a sunburn, what do you do? You grab for aloe vera, right? Because why? It soothes and heals. I want you to think about this gelatin much in the same way. We all know about gut health. We know about microbiome. We know about the importance of that. And after a while, when you've done this, you can walk through an airport, you can tell the state of someone's gut by looking at their external physiology and their external makeup, because that's where it shows up. So this gelatin goes and heals the gut in such a beautiful way that you start to get that glow and you start to get that real foundational beauty and that real foundational health. And that is the ticket. Yeah. And she's, she swears by it. You know, she had these packages coming to my house before she arrived. The, the bone broth preceded her. Yes. You know? <laughs> as it always does. I'll come, but I got to bring my bone broth. Yeah. Yeah. So it's awesome. It's in my freezer right now. <laughs> um, so cool. So, so you just hit it out of the park with the bone broth diet. Now the cleanse and reset diet. Let's talk about this. How mm -hmm. did this come into being? So I have to tell you, I, when the bone broth diet hit and it was such a massive success, what happens when you get that level of success, you have a lot of opportunity. And because this was very new to me, I didn't yet know how to control the, my environment. I didn't yet know how to control my mind attached to that environment. So I said, yes, 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 yes. As a result of that, I got really burnt out. I talk about the story in the book. I want you all to get this book and just at least to hear the story so you can learn and gain from my experience 
Well, and I have to tell you, it's right up the alley of emotional eaters because we know how to burn ourselves out, giving, 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 saying yes to everything. And that's what I try to teach people to stop doing because we don't have the bandwidth for it unless we're just willing to eat through it all. If we don't want to eat, we got to have boundaries on our time and, you know, have limits on what we do for others. So, And, And remember too, from a chemical standpoint or biochemical standpoint, stress hormones are made from sugar and fat, right? So you are naturally going to crave sugar and fat the more stressed out you are. Ooh, do you and hear so, that? Yeah. So that, I mean, so it's a, it's a, it's a cycle, but I went through this cycle and I was flying all over the place, cross country all the time, doing a lot of television, still seeing patients, running a business, parenting, doing a lot of different things. Long story short, and you can get a more broad based story in the book, but I crashed and I burned. And so I thought, okay, here's someone who really understands what it takes to be healthy, someone who revolutionized something very significant in health and who is a role model in the health world. How is it that she ends up passed out on the floor of a plane? Oh, And that's what happened. And I had this happen to me completely as a result of sheer burnout. So I developed a program and this, I tell you, this is the quick, the quick speed answer, but I developed a program and I call it cleanse and reset. And I don't want you to think about this like a cleanse that you've ever had before. This is not about depletion. This is not about deprivation. I want you to think about this as decadence. It's completely different because what I've learned is to truly cleanse the body. It's nutrition in, toxins out. That conveyor belt must be going at all times. And you can do that gently, beautifully. And guess what? If you are eating something and you, an hour later, you're grabbing for something else, It's like anything else in life. Let me ask you this. If you are in a relationship and your needs aren't being met, what do you do? You start looking around for something else. Guess what? It doesn't change within your physiology, your biology. When you don't have the nutritional needs met, your body starts looking around for something else. So you eat an hour later, you're hungry again because your body does a scan after it eats. And it's saying, I'm not getting what I need, not getting what I need. So in order to stop those cravings and crashes from happening, what you have to do is learn to nutrify the body, nutrient sufficiency, and get away from nutrient deficiency at the same time slowly, gently pulling those toxins out of your body. So it's a nutritional, there's other components to handling this as, as well. And they're in the book, things like the people around you. Very, these are all very important parts of cleansing Amen. and resetting. Amen. But you've got to cleanse the body and not only cleanse it and leave you deprived or feeling that stringy feeling afterwards. Right, you know vacuum. that stringy feeling. You have to leave a cleanse and feel reset and ready reset and ready. And so this program, this cleanse and reset is about up building. And here's what I love about it. You don't have to do it for five days. You can do it one day. You can do it two days. You can do it once or twice a week for a day or two or whatever. The point is to change your relationship with food and to let your body get those key hits on how it feels to have the ultimate nutrition run through its veins. So we're not talking about fasting here. No, this is not fasting. That's not what this cleanse is about. And this is a revolutionary new way to look at cleansing, right? I said, how can I have, just like I did with weight loss, how can these women get the results they need without the suffering, without the pain? Well, let's have them do bone broth. Let's have them do bone broth and have a meal at the end of the day. It worked. This is about no pain. You are going to feel very satisfied. You're going to find new flavors. You're going to change the way your taste buds recognize sweet or recognize satiation. And that's really important. It's about retraining. And so, so you got a lot of cool stuff in here. You got mm-hmm. some really great soups. You have shakes. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. These are awesome recipes. Yeah. There's Peachy 69 recipes. Shake, chocolate raspberry mm-hmm. shake, uh, butternut squash soup, creamy pumpkin soup with Indian spices, some yummy stuff. So I, I think that's really important for people to know. It's about restoration. It's about rejuvenation. This is really important. And you can do this through your cellular matrix through foods. And one of the reasons why I love bone broth and I love the soups, which are included in this program, 69 recipes in the book, is because it's very restorative, very restorative. And that's why I love it so much. And it's a mainstay of my my diet. 
uh, moving forward every day is to get some of this restoration, get some of this rejuvenation into my body. And then and only then can you really reset. And once you get into the mode of this, you're not going to find this to be hard. You're going to start putting this good nutrition in your body and your body's going to start resetting and re-energizing. And when you're re-energizing and you do one thing that's very important, one of the things I'll talk about science just for a moment. Glycine is one of the components that you're going to find in these recipes. These recipes were very methodically designed to help do all of these things I'm telling you that it'll do, which is reset the gut. It's going to get rid of that head to toe inflammation and help you become a natural fat burner. These are essential elements to really being healthy. Now, let's talk about that one element being a natural fat burner. If you can carve out that one little piece, and if you don't hear anything else I'm saying, and you just listen right now to what I'm saying, here's what become, becoming a natural fat burner means. It means that that system of insulin, which by the way, is actually a hormone. If your body manages insulin in the right way, which means it carries it into the cells and you burn it off instead of having it carried into your liver because you have too much insulin going. If you can just learn to regulate that one little function of your body, the clarity that you will enjoy is priceless. And you see what happens is clarity begets clarity. Once you get clarity in one mechanistic place in your body and in your life, then there's more clarity and more clarity and more clarity. So these are the th three things that any program that has a Dr. Kellyanne label to it has to have. So when I look at a lot of commercial pro products out there that a lot of you see on the shelves for weight loss, I say, no way, no how. Here's why. I will ask the questions, does it heal the gut? Does it get rid of that head to toe inflammation? And does it help you become a natural fat burner? Because if it doesn't, it's a no. Love that. So what are some of the top, let's, are there top, like three top nutrients you can say that people need in order to heal? Mm -hmm. So one of the things that I like are amino acids. Amino acids because they're very up building. This is really important. You don't have to think about it when you do this program, like bone broth has beautiful amino acids. A lot of the collagen, collagen would be number two. Here's why I love collagen. So amino acids, I love collagen. Here's why. Because after about the age of 20, you start losing this collagen. And some early studies are showing us that these nutritional supplementation with these shakes and such, they actually help start building those numbers back up. And that's priceless. And if you don't know what collagen is and why it's so significant, it's the main protein component of our body. And this is like the glue that holds us up. So whenever I say the word up, I want you to think youth, up building. So we want that collagen. That is the holy grail. So the sooner you start implementing some kind of program that starts replacing that, it's very beneficial. The third nutrient that I love, there's many that I could talk about. You know, I love the, the collagen, the protein, all... I love berries, and the reason why I love the nutrients that come with berries, and they're in here, a lot of people think, well, fruit, you know, they're, they, they, they're kind of standoffish about fruit. I'm not with berries, because you're not going to get the same cravings and crashes, and there's so many benefits. One of the benefits that I love is that when we talk about anti-aging, there's so many little things that you can add into your life and into your diet every day that are going to make a difference. For instance, berries, particularly blueberries, they help protect your skin from aging from the sun. They have natural protectors in there that are going to help your skin from aging from the sun. So that's really priceless. So when you see someone with beautiful skin as they're older, 40s, 50s, 60s, that doesn't just happen. You say, well, what about those with good genetics? Okay, first of all, you have to understand there's genetics and there's epigenetics. The epigenome lays on top of the gene. And this, this is very important to know because the environment that you put yourself in and stay in is going to influence that epigenome. So you can have the worst genes in the world, but if you express them right through your lifestyle, your chances of having any incidents that you're fearing, you know, oh, I, I, there's no hope for me. I'm going to be heavy because I, my, my bad genes you can't look at it that way because not if you know the science, the science is there's a lot of hope. If you put yourself in the right environment, meaning the right lifestyle and you push those triggers instead of the bad triggers. So no excuses. 
Love it. Love it. Love it. That's what my clients do in the Heal Your Hunger community. Mm -hmm. We just spread a lot of love and a lot of support and encouragement for a really healthy lifestyle. So Kelly Ann, you're so awesome. Oh, thank you. Well, so good I have to, to say you. right back at you. Oh my God. So guys, this is the book Cleanse and Reset by Dr. Kel Kelly Ann Petrucci. And she's absolutely amazing. As you can tell, she's a fire... She's a fire hose of amazing information and she has a heart of gold and she's Likewise. a good friend and I just adore her. So pick up her book. It's amazing and it will help you in a very quick, simple way mm -hmm. to reset your body and get the yucky stuff out. Yeah. I love it. So thank you, my dear. Sure. You can go to Dr. Kellyanne. That's no E at the end, Dr. Kellyanne. And you can get lots of information and information about the book and articles and all that stuff. Cool. Cool. Thanks for adding that. And we'll yeah. put that in the show notes as well. Right. Um, and then I have one last question for you sure. to ask my guests. And that is what is your deepest hunger? I would say my deepest hunger and my passion is uh, a child dies every six seconds from a hunger related disease. They die. Mm. And this is something that we have to do something about the fact that children are dying that frequent wow. from hunger. So what I'm hungry for is to come up with solutions for that. God bless you. Mm. Yeah, you're on that road. So just you, 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 you help so many people and you are Thank such you. a light in this world. And I Thank really you, am right so there. honored to know you. Oh, same. And I have to tell you for, I'm telling you for all of your viewers and listeners and readers, I will tell you, I know her on a personal level and you are in the right hands. This woman has no other motive than to help you. And I have to tell you in any career, that's very hard to find. She's not motivated by any of those things that are not serving her interest is only to serve you. So Aww, sweet. Thank yeah. you. God Back bless everyone. Yeah. yeah. Thanks everybody for tuning in and please pick up a, a, a copy of Dr. Kellyanne's book, cleanse and reset. And uh, Dr. Kellyanne is the best and the authority on gut health. So God bless you and see y'all in the next show. Take Thank care. You. If you enjoyed this podcast and want to get free support, insider health info, exclusive invites to events, and more, visit HealYourHunger.com.